Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's video, we've got some exciting news. Microsoft have just announced device code flow and authentication transfer in public preview within conditional access. In today's video, I will show you the two new features within conditional access. So if you were to navigate to intra.microsoft.com and on the left hand service pane, scroll down to where you see protection. You'll have an option for conditional access. If you were to select conditional access, this will present you the dashboard pane. We then want to select policies and it will give you a bit of an overview on what poli policies have, be have been configured previously and the current state. We want to select new policy. And then as usual, we'll go ahead and create the assignment, select the, the target resources, the conditions to satisfy, and then of course the access controls, whether or not you want to block or grant access or require multi-factor authentication. And then you've got an option of whether or not to put it in report only, in audit mode, turn on or turn off. But in this session, we're gonna look at the conditions. So if we were to select conditions, you'll see a new feature called authentication flows, and that's currently in public preview. So if we were to select not, not configured, it will present us our options, control how your organization uses certain authentication and authorization protocols and grants. So we've got an option to configure. So if we were to select configure, we've got two transfer methods, one for device code flow and one for authentication transfer. And these are just tick boxes. And we can select both at the same time. So what, what is device code flow? What is authentication transfer? Well, a device code flow, pretty much allows users to authenticate on devices or operating systems that don't provide a web browser. Um, also lets the user use another device, such as computer or mobile phone, to sign in interactively. That's device code flow. And then we've got authentication transfer. So authentication transfer is a new flow that offers a seamless way to transfer um, an authenticated state from one device to another. Let me provide you an example for authentication transfer. Users could be presented with a QR code within a desktop version of Outlook uh, that when scanned on their mobile device transfers the authenticated state to a, to a mobile device. This capability provides a simple and intuitive user experience that reduces um, user experience levels, for, um, for, for, um, increases user, user experience levels for the, for, for the end user. Um, so how, how do we go about Enabling these, well, like I said, it's just a tick box. We can select authentication transfer, we can press save, and of course we can go about our usual business in terms of conditional access and assign that to, to a particular security group or users or directory roles, and then um, granting access. If we were looking at authentication flows and looking at device code flow, the recommendation from a Microsoft perspective is to restrict that and restrict that uh, for users unless stated otherwise, okay? So how do we monitor this behavior? How do we audit this um, prior to maybe turning the policy on fully? Well, we could put it in reports only, and then we can navigate to the sign-in logs. So if we were to scroll up and select users, all users, sign-in logs, and then we'll see our usual sign-in logs for, for both interactive and non-interactive logs, and we can add a filter. We can scroll down on the filter type, and select authentication protocol. Press apply. And you'll see there's two new authentication protocols listed within the uh, filter itself. One for device code and one for authentication transfer. And if you were to filter one and press apply, you would see all the related signing logs uh, based on the, the applicable field to filter here. Of course, I haven't enabled this within conditional access policy yet. It is still in public preview and have not uh, tested it as of yet. Uh, but this is what authentication protocols are there for within conditional access. Um, uh, device code flow and authentication transfer. Um, like I said, for device code flow, the recommendation is to restrict and only allow as and when uh, required. Um, that, that pretty much... Um, adopts the, the approach of zero trust methodology and then from from an authentication transfer perspective it just enhances the user experience any questions please do let me know thank you very much